Uh, hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you about how to utilize hold button while creating PO or uh, while doing goods receipt. You can teach this functionality to the users. It will be a great help because uh, when they were doing some activity and suddenly uh, it was uh, they want to stop it. Okay, and then how to do that? We are going to see. So. I can see the details here. Go to ME21N. So the user is creating a purchase order and um, the supplier and we gave the material. We gave the material and quantity net price 500 so while he's giving the information he was still not clear about certain conditions okay so certain conditions are not clear Get the correct vendor. Okay, still he is not uh, clear about what the freight charges and all. Okay, whether it is a six percentage or still you need to discuss, but the shift is almost going to complete. So maybe you can imagine he has given many other materials also. So for this material, even uh, quantity also, he's not clear whether it is 50 or 30. So then he can use the option called hold. So system will uh, generate a number, but it will keep it in hold. So because of this one, he can uh, go tomorrow and uh, he, can, he can go and came back to office tomorrow and come to ME21N, click on this document overview on. So here we have multiple options, click on this option and click purchase orders on hold, okay? So once you click on purchase orders on hold, you will get a list of POs which are hold, okay? So this is the way how you are going to uh, see the POs. And here, once it that one, click control button and uh, select both the POs and just double click. Okay. Once you click on double click only how to do, don't click this button, adopt. Okay. If you do that, then the system will create a new purchase order. But uh, now it's see here, once you click on double click, the PO has come, click on edit and start continuing what you are going to do it. So because number is already allocated. So once you complete the activity, the process will be done. For example, by mistake, if you come to document over you on, select doc purchase artist on hold, select it and click on adopt. If you click adopt, what happened? See, PO number is blank. System is trying to create a new purchase order. So don't use adopt button during hold. Just double click. So system will copy the, all the information along with PO number and you can make changes and uh, continue. Save the PO, it will become. So this is about the hold button in purchase order. Similar way, you want to hold during Migo. So you're doing some goods issue for scrapping. You enter the material, quantity, plant. Okay. And uh, account assignment category also you enter. But you're not clear about the quantity and some information. So you, you enter some 10 materials or 20 materials or even one material. So to save the time, click on hold and skip future 
So sister will ask you like, what is the remarks one? Like uh, scrap, match. We are doing match scrap. That's it. And you came tomorrow. Okay. So just come out. Don't save that one. We can't show over you. You came later. And uh, see, system will show you the multiple information in your overview. Your document, my document. Here you have to click scrap march. Only double click. The data will be copied. And uh, check everything. If all good. Okay. So if all good, then post it. So this is about the whole functionalities and how you can use it. The similar way we have hold for uh, Miro option. Miro. And um, you gave the details. First to check edit company code. Hope our our company code is there. <laughs> and uh, give the some POs. 620090. Okay, we can give any purchase order. Our company code. Supplier 601. Or 602. NS twelve. Oh, well, nothing is pending a lot. Let us take ME two N and uh, selection parameters. Open invoice. So you can take this view. Give the PO. And but you are not clear about uh, the tax information or certain thing. Click on hold. So messages are there, but I know it's fine. So it was it went on hold, but some because of some wrong entry, it was giving the pop up. So now you go to Miro. The hold works similar way how it was in Miro. So now you can click on show work list. Okay, this is your home screen, Miro. And click on show work list. Little bit you can move to the right hand side to see the information. So held documents, parked documents, documents uh, complete for posting. Go to held. This is the one just now we created. Same logic, double click. So the entire data will be copied, whatever you have entered. Okay. So you input the data and uh, click on calculate tax. You can post it how you are doing normally. So this is about the uh, hold function. Uh, this one we need to teach to every users. Uh, what are the different kind of um, data and uh, if they are or they want to give letter okay so you can tell them like you can do your activity without any uh, losing the data after you give the uh, some 10 items there is some issue and already shift is completed 5 pm or 6 pm they will feel that if you just go out 
all 10 you have to enter tomorrow so we can teach them about the whole functionality so that they will um, utilize better and they can uh, utilize this functionality to complete the activities i hope uh, you learned about different whole functions in purchase order and uh, goods received or goods issue any kind of amigo and miro so keep watching our videos and provide ratings on udemy and uh, keep sharing our videos with your circle to help more people i will come up with more useful videos thanks for watching